Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ blessed. This is another episode of IUIC Contradict This. And to my right, I have Officer Yaku. All right, all praises to the Most High. So we're going to open up with Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29 and verse 10. Uh, the main purpose for this um, teaching that we're doing is to explain the so-called contradictions that people say are in the Bible. Mainly these atheists that our people are following behind now you see a rise in um, so-called black people who are turning into becoming atheists. And okay. just about a decade ago, the only the majority of atheists were so-called white people in the other nations. Right. Now we see black people following behind that, who think that the Bible is a myth and there's contradictions in the Bible. But here in Israel, united in Christ, we answereth all things. Okay, and we're going to show you the true understanding on what you think is a contradiction. All right. Let's go. Isaiah 29 and verse 10 first. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, hath he covered. So the prophets, the rulers, the people in these different churches and so forth, God said he closed their eyes. There's no understanding in them. They can't explain anything out of the Bible. Why? Because they've been taught a white supremacist version of Christianity, which makes no sense at all. Read. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. So the Bible has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. No understanding, no explanation. Don't know how to go precept upon precept. That's why many of you are falling into the hands of atheists. And now you're denouncing the Bible because you have no understanding. Read. Which men deliver to one that is learned, mm -hmm. saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. Read. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. That's why there that's why there's so called contradictions out there, because they don't understand the Bible. They don't understand the verses. They don't understand what they're reading. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth mm -hmm. and with their lips do honor me. That's talking about so-called black, Hispanics, and natives. We are God's people. We are the Israelites. Read on. But have removed their heart far from me. And your mind is far from God. Go ahead. And their fear toward me. Your fear towards God. Come on. Is taught by the precept of men. Is taught by the precept of man. The same man that had you in slavery. The same man that, say, that, said, that says continue to say that God does not exist or the Bible is a book of myth and so forth. All right? Your fear towards God is taught by the precept of man, the white man. Go ahead. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among so even, this people. So even though, even though our people are destroyed and you've been taught wrong in these churches, God still says he shall proceed to do a marvelous work amongst our people. What is that marvelous work? Bringing the understanding of the gospel to you. Waking you up in these last days. Read. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. Mm -hmm. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. Go ahead. And the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Come on. Verse 18. Yep. Verse 18. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book. And that day is now. Why? Because the messengers of the Most High are back on this earth to give the true understanding of the gospel. It says, and in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book. All right, this is not talking about somebody who's actually deaf. It's talking about those who are deaf in spirit, deaf in understanding. Go ahead. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, mm -hmm. and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity mm -hmm. and out of darkness. So the darkness is modern-day Christianity. The darkness is walking, trying to become an atheist, denouncing God, denouncing his word. So the Most High said, you know what? In the last days, I'm going to wake up my messengers, and they're going to give my people the true understanding of the gospel. Right. So one topic we're going to deal with is circumcision. Circumcision. So this is what they say the contradiction is. Let's read Genesis 17, verse 10. The book of Genesis, chapter 17 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. So over here, the, the covenant that was given to Abraham says, every man amongst you shall be circumcised, shall be circumcised. Is that it on verse 10? Yes, sir. Jump to Galatians. So the atheists 
would say, well, look, there's a contradiction there because Abraham says, every man amongst you shall be circumcised. Now we get to Galatians chapter 5, verse 2. The book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 2. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. So they use this verse and say, well, see, there's a contradiction. Nope. Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. So it says, stand fast in the liberty, the liberty where Christ had made us free. See, in order to understand the gospel, you must understand the Old Testament, and you have to understand the purpose of Jesus Christ. All right? Read it, read it again. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty mm -hmm. wherewith Christ has, hath made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. The yoke of bondage. What did Christ make us free from? The yoke of bondage, from the law of sacrifice. The law of sacrifice. Okay, hold that. Get me Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10. You know what I want, right? Yes, sir. Come on. Hebrews chapter 10. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 9. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Mm -hmm. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. So what did, what did Christ take away? The old covenant. The old covenant of animal sacrifice. We're not under that law anymore. If you sin, you don't have to go forth and bring a goat or a turtle dove or a sheep or a bullock. Okay? Christ came and gave us mercy that we may repent of our sins. Read. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. So the Christ offered up his body. So no longer are we looking for a body of a lamb. Christ was that lamb. Christ was that ultimate lamb. Now go back to Galatians chapter 5. Read verse 1 again. The book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, mm -hmm. and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And the yoke of bondage was animal sacrifice. Now, get me that in Corinthians. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 18. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not be become uncircumcised. Go ahead. Is any called uncircum uncircumcision? Mm -hmm. let, him not be un let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, mm -hmm. and uncircumcision is nothing. So what is Paul explaining here? You had two sects of Israelites. You had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, also known as the southern kingdom. Then you had the northern kingdom. You had a group of Israelites walking after the customs of the heathen, the Greekish ways, into idolatry and so forth. Those were called uncircumcision. Then you had the circumcision, those of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was walking after the old covenant and keeping the laws of animal sacrifice. They were called circumcision, and the uncircumcision were those that was walking after Greekish customs and idolatry. That's what Paul is addressing here. Read that part again. Circumcision is nothing, mm -hmm. and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of God. But the keeping of commandments of God, that's the same thing that we read in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. The liberty that we have under Christ is keeping the commandments in the faith of Christ. That's the liberty. No more are we under the law of sacrifice. Give me Acts 11 verse 2. Acts chapter 11 and verse 2. The book of Acts chapter 11 and verse 2. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem. And when Peter went to Jerusalem, who was in Jerusalem mainly? The southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the scribes and Pharisees and Sadducees. Go ahead. They that were of the circumcision. The scribes, Pharisees, and Sadducees were called the circumcision. Go ahead. Contended with him, mm -hmm. saying, Thou wentest into men uncircumcised. Thou wentest into men uncircumcised. Come on. And didst eat with them. And didst eat with them. That was talking about the, those unbelievers, those in idolatries, those not keeping the law of sacrifice. Okay? So that is the understanding on that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.